Doc Rampageo here with another toy unboxing on DKTV. Today I'm looking at the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends The Punisher figure. Let's dive right in. Alright, so Frank Castle, aka The Punisher, is one of my favorite Marvel heroes. And I've been waiting since the return of Legends to get a good classic outfit Punisher. They did the one in the second or third wave of the first return of Marvel Legends. But that was actually before... The figures started getting as good as they are now, so I'm psyched to get this Punisher uh, via Walgreens, who has been killing it with their exclusives lately. Uh, this figure comes with a ton of stuff. Um, it's really good. It's a really great figure. It looks great. It's the classic outfit you want, and it's just an awesome figure. Let's look at the packaging. The box is now standard Marvel Legends packaging. Uh, it's got the window on the front. It says The Punisher. It's got a picture of Frank on the side. It's got the same picture of Frank on the other side. Nice Punisher logo. And the back, it shows the figures from the Spider-Man wave, which is kind of weird because this wave is a little old at this point. Uh, it's got a picture of Frank on, on the back. And it's got a small bio of Frank on the top. Um, but, you know, this packaging is pretty standard, so let's look at the figure. Alright, so this Punisher is the classic outfit. You have the white gloves, the big white skull, the white boots, uh, two heads. This head has the white bandana. He also has a little bit of uh, bandolier bullets and grenades action going on there. This is by far my favorite outfit for the Punisher. I don't really like the more modern versions where he's wearing like a t-shirt with a skull painted on and just a trench coat. I like him to have an outfit. He is a comic book character after all. Uh, the they killed it on the sculpt for this. I'm sure this body is a lot of reuse. It actually looks like the same um, legs as the Venom figure from recently, but I could be wrong there. He's nice and tall. He's got a great build. The sculpt on the head is fantastic, uh, great profile, great front on, and the second head is equally as good. Uh, classic Punisher, he looks a little more weathered than this, uh, but I think that both heads are great and it gives you plenty of options for your perfect Frank. You have the non-headband version, you have the headband version. I actually kind of thought I was going to like the non-headband non version better, but I like the headband version quite a bit. So the Punisher on my shelf will be rocking the headband. Um, I like this face a little better. He comes with a few accessories. He comes with the same uh, rocket launcher as the recent Deadpool, which is a little bent from its time in the package, which is to be expected. However, a cool feature of this is it does plug into the hole on his back for storage. So you can have him wield the rocket launcher. He also comes with a big machine gun and a white grenade launcher. Now I'm not sure why they made the grenade launcher white instead of black or green, but it's a nice accessory. It's always good to have some weapons. Um, this Frank is hindered a little bit in his posability by the belt on his chest but uh, nothing super major. I think Walgreens has been killing it lately with their exclusives. The distribution has been great on all of them. They've all been pretty easy to find after a while. Uh, so with future, any Walgreens exclusive, I would not overpay for these because you should be able to find them with little to no trouble eventually. Um, this is a great looking figure. This might be, it's definitely the Marvel Legends figure of the year for me, but this might be one of my top five figures of the year. We're going to have to wait till uh, January to find out there, but this is a really strong early contender. It's a great character we've needed an update of, and they just knocked it out the park. Walgreens has continued to kill it, and they foreseeably will continue to kill it because they're just knocking them out the park left and right. This is Marvel's The Punisher unboxing. I'm Doc Rampageo. We'll catch you next time on DKTV.